Hello everyone! In this video, we would like to talk about water properties and what makes them so unique. As we all know, water has a very simple molecular structure that is composed of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Water also benefits us in so many ways that it becomes one of the most important sources in our life. So, what kind of properties that benefit us? Let's find out! My name is Siti Nuhanis Binti Yaakob And today I will make the experiment of water properties which is solvent Ingredients and materials Salt, baking soda, cooking oil, water, beaker, glass that I have label 1 tablespoon and spoon Digital wash Step 1 Add 200 ml to 3 glasses. Then add 1 tablespoon salt into the water and swir it for 30 seconds. Next, add 1 tablespoon baking soda to the water and sweet it for 30 seconds. Then. Lastly, add 1 tablespoon cooking oil into the water and sweet it for 30 seconds. Yeah, this is you can see this is solvent and this is have a participate here you can see here cooking oil is nampola as you can see at the top layer the cooking oil is separated with water okay this is the result but how to determine solvent or non-solvent hmm, what is the interaction why need to explain solvent is dissolved in water there is two types of compound in solvent. First, ionic compound. When water and salt nitrogen chloride merge, it became ion dipole interaction and form hydration shell. For polar compound, when water and baking soda merge, it became dipole dipole interaction and form hydrogen bond. For non solvent, it not dissolve in water, so it determined as non polar. When water and oil merge, it will become hydrophobic interaction. Water is an excellent solvent. It is a unique ability to dissolve many polar and ionic compounds. Example of living organism. For human, kidney is one of the important parts in our body. Water and kidney became great combination. It will help your kidney remove toxin as urine, prevent urinary tract infection, prevents kidney damage and formation of kidney stones, Keeps your blood vessel open for blood to carry essential nutrients. How the relationship between water and kidney by the process? So this is the flow how it is work. That's why we need to drink plenty of fluids. So we know that water helps clear sodium and toxins from your kidneys. It also lowers your risk of chronic kidney disease. As conclusion, different solvent of water compound give different molecule and interaction. Hi everyone, my name is Iza. Today I will do one experiment for thermal properties. All we need is candle, two balloons with different colors, pink balloon with water inside, and lighter. First of all, lit up the candle by using lighter. And do it carefully. Then, place the lit candle onto the table. Moving on, we have two balloons here. The pink balloon filled with water, while the blue one without water but only air inside. Then, set up the timer for 2 minutes. Place the balloon on top of the lit candle. 
and wait up to see the result. Now it's time for review. As you can see, black soot appears at the bottom of balloon where it was heated. Moving on to the next balloon without water. Place it on top of the lit candle. And look! The balloon just exploded. But why? Higher temperature is needed to increase water temperature. We can say that this special property makes water has high specific heat because they require more energy to break those strong hydrogen bonds. That's why the balloon with water inside doesn't pop, which is a relief. So why does this property important to living organism? Like I said before, water has high specific heat and high heat of vaporization. These properties allow more energy required to break hydrogen bonds in water. So what defines specific heat? Specific heat is the amount of heat absorbed or lost by 1 gram of substance to change its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Specific heat of water is 4,186 joule per kilogram degree Celsius. Pretty high, right? This property allows the process of slow water heating to maintain constant temperature of living organism and environment. Water also has a high heat of vaporization which values at 540 calories per gram. This property refers to the amount of heat absorbed to change 1 gram of water from liquid to gas. The process of evaporation from water surface subsequently removes heat energy which causes the cooling effect of leaves and sweating to remove body heat. Hi! For this experiment, I will be using 2 cups, a tip, a string, a scissor, food colouring and of course water. First step. I will attach both of the cup with a string using a tape. As the string is too long, thus I cut it shorter and it should look like this. Move on to the second step. By using water and food coloring, I will fill up only in cup A with two solution while cup B stays empty. Mix it up together and this is observation 1. Before go to the last step, make sure that cup A have a higher position while cup B stays on the table. Slowly pour the water from cup A to cup B. And this is the final result. We can see that the water from cup A is transferred to cup B by a string using an addition and cohesion concept. But wait! How does cohesion and adhesion are crucial for organism? Yes, you guessed it right. Plan. Did you know the process of photosynthesis is such a major process because it is the basis of all food chain. Without plants undergoing photosynthesis, animals would not be able to harness the energy from the universe or obtain oxygen to breath. Little note for those who don't know what is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process where plants use carbon dioxide and water to absorb light energy and transform it into food or called as glucose and oxygen. Photosynthesis only occurs when there is light. So this is the structure of xylem. The blue color represents water while the brown is its wall. In plant, adhesion refers to the water molecules linked to the xylem tissue and cohesion occur when water molecules stick together to each other. Okay, let's go on to the further explanation about cohesion. The water moves from the root to stem. As the water evaporates, the water molecule continue to fill the space left that were pulled out from the leaves. And as for adhesion, Addition provides the force to pour water up to the side of the tube in the xylem, which allows for the water to stick to the organic tissue of plant. 
In the nutshell, this unique water property helps the plant to go on photosynthesis process where the leaf absorb light from the sun to produce glucose and oxygen gas for animals to live. The sun energy splits up water and carbon dioxide and produce glucose and oxygen. So that's all about it. Thank you. Hi. For the experiment, I will be using two cups label as hot and another two cups label as cool. One jar of cool water, hot water, food coloring orange and green, wooden stick and last one binding cover. First step, I will fill the water into four cups. Two cups for cool water and another two cups for hot water. For the second step, I will put the green food coloring into hot water and orange food coloring into cool water. Stir until we we'll combine using wooden stick. The third step, invert both glasses containing hot and cool water together using the binding cover. For the first, glass containing hot water will be placed on top and glass containing cool water will be placed on the bottom. For the second one, glass containing cool water will be placed on top and glass containing hot water will be placed on the bottom. Okay, you guys can see the difference? For the result, when cool water is placed on top and hot water is placed on the bottom, the water mix together but when I change the position of water, the water does not mix. For the explanation, in hot water, water molecule moving around faster. They wash off each other and move further apart. Because there are more space between the molecule, a volume of hot water has fewer molecule in it and weigh a little bit less than the same volume of cool water. So hot water is less dense than cool water. But what is the importance of water density? The density of water is one of the unique properties of water. Ice has less density than water and this clearly important for animal that live on ice such as polar bear. It also does not affect aquatic organisms that survive in winter because they freeze from the top to the bottom. That's all for the experiment. Thank you.